Hello everyone, welcome to the short tutorial on cumulative sums with a, a waterfall chart um, or a running total with a waterfall chart. So I'm going to just show you this kind of quick tutorial on how to create a running total of sales differences um, by subcategory. Um, I'm going to use the sample superstore data. So if you open Tableau, scroll down and click on the sample superstore data. Um, we'll go ahead and start from there. Um, the first thing you need to do is um, get the sales going here. So you can either double click and that will bring up the sales into the rows um, pane. Or alternatively, if you go back, you can also click sales and drag it into rows. Um, either way works fine. And then we need to add the subcategory into column. So if you, you're looking for a subcategory and don't find it here, um, it's actually under product, um, this kind of higher level um, dimension here. So you need to click on this little caret, and then you'll see category, subcategory, manufacturer, and product name. So you can either, again, double click subcategory. The goal here is to get subcategory into the columns. Or you can click subcategory and drag it into columns and it'll give you the exact same thing. Um, then I want to I want to sort um, these sales numbers in ascending order. And you can do that a couple ways. Um, I think one of the easiest things to do is just hover over the numerical axis here and click this little button um, and then the data will sort either ascending or descending um, or put it back the way you had it. And this is basically alphabetical order here. Um, so kind of pay attention to what Tableau is doing when you click these buttons. Um, alternatively, there's a button at the top that says descending and then ascending. So in this case, we want to sort ascending. So again, either you can use these buttons to kind of click around. You can always go back, right? So you click that, that didn't really work undo there you go um, so we're gonna leave this this is sorted ascending by sum of sales within subcategory and if you're uncertain you can always hover over this little button and it will tell you um, what Tableau is actually doing here so now we have these ascending orders um, to create the running total all you need to do is go up here to sales in this little green pill uh, these things are called pills. Click on the down arrow. Tableau has these awesome quick table calculations um, that make things really easy, so you don't really have to enter any information. So here you get a running total, um, and this is the cumulative sum here. So just click that, and you can see now that we have this data, and it will be the running total or cumulative sum of sales by subcategory in ascending order. Um, then what we need to do is get the, um, the differences um, of each subcategory basically to the total sum. Um, and to do that, we're going to create, and we're gonna create our waterfall, waterfall um, chart. So what we need to do is create a calculated field that allows us to see kind of the contribution of the subcategories um, to the overall total sum of sales. Um, and to do that, an easy way to do it is create differences between the sums of each subcategory. So let's create a calculated field. So go back over here above the dimensions next to the search bar. You can go to this little down arrow and create a calculated field. Um, and we wanna call this, we're gonna calculate the differences in each of the subcategories, the sales differences. So we're gonna call this sales difference. So I just type that, you can call this whatever you want, um, but it's a good thing to actually label your field um, appropriately. So what we wanna do is to get the differences in sales, just type the minus button so that means subtract, and then a bracket, and then type sales. You can either just type sales and close the bracket, 
or you can type S, this should come up, double click that. And what you want to do is look for this orange um, indicator, and this means Tableau likes what you're doing. The calculation is valid, so you click apply and click OK. And then your calculated field, if you look to the left, should be down here. Um, and then what we want to do is drag this um, new calculated field into size. Um, um, that didn't quite work out the way I planned, and I know why. So again, I'm going to drag this into size. And what we want to do for the waterfall chart that I totally forgot is you need to go into the marks card and you need to make this a Gantt bar chart and then that will allow you to see clearly the actual differences between the subcategories and then which uh, total is really contributing to the overall total. So it looks like phones have this um, The, uh, basically they're contributing a lot to the total sum, the running total, basically. And if you go down here to fasteners, um, it's not contributing a lot to the total sum. So again, with the waterfall chart, you can easily see um, the contribution of each subcategory to the total sum. Um, if you want a different view here, you can try to fit the width or entire view um, it kind of depends on what kind of computer you're actually using. Okay, so that's basically it, how to make the waterfall chart showing uh, the contribution of a subcategory to a running total. Again, um, fairly easy. Don't forget to go to the marks card here and go down the bar chart or Gantt bar. Um, and of course, I always recommend that everybody play around with everything. So this, I like to show everyone the undo button up here. Um, it kind of shows you what's going on. You know, I left this as a normal bar and then that didn't look, look right. So I kind of remembered, oh, I forgot to change this to a Gantt bar. And there you go with the waterfall chart. Um, alternatively, instead of clicking this back arrow, you can push, I'm pressing control Z, just like in Microsoft Word. And you can undo a lot of things. You can also go forward. So you can say, hey, you know, I like the way that looked. What really happened here? Um, and it's all about the iterative process, too, just to see what you can do. Um, so I'll just stick to that with the tutorial. And um, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. And happy visualizing.